they didn't know exactly what happened anyway. And surveillance video you're seeing only on two. Now, some say those cameras invade our privacy, but others say they are vital in investigating crashes like the one today involving a woman and her two grandchildren. In fact, tonight that surveillance video is helping police figure out exactly what happened in the moments leading up to the crash. It happened on South Patterson Boulevard and 6th Street this morning. Now, at first, it seemed as if that grandmother was to blame, but as Alexa Ashwell explains, police now know that's not the case. She's live with more of that video. You'll see only on two. Surveillance video from a nearby business captured the accident, a tool investigators wish they could utilize more often. A two-car accident lands this Jeep on its side on South Patterson Boulevard in Dayton. I'm totally in a rush, so I'm trying to get to the hospital. So. Charles Griffith's wife was driving the BMW that collided with the SUV. He rushed here to get his two granddaughters who were riding in the car. Lock up. Buckle up now. Together, they went to the hospital to check on Grandma. It didn't take long for investigators to determine the driver of the SUV was at fault. This nearby business caught it all on video. Yeah, and the police came in and looked at it, and they're like, well, we know who's going to get the ticket. And then we know who was at fault. The left side of your screen shows the SUV. The driver waits for two cars to pass, then pulls into the intersection. Seconds later, an oncoming BMW collides with the SUV. People rush across the street to help. A similar scene just yesterday. This city camera captured an 87-year-old woman slamming into the back of a flatbed tow truck. She was killed on impact. Pretty significant impact, no sign of breaking. This happened near Englewood. The city has 28 cameras that allow dispatchers to survey major roads as well as public parks and buildings. They were installed in 2006 without opposition, say police. In April, Dayton city leaders considered using aerial surveillance, video to help homicide investigations or when disturbances, natural disasters, and SWAT callouts occur. Residents shot down the plan, but Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal still believes aerial surveillance is a sign of the future. So really it becomes a force multiplier. We can't have a police officer on every street corner. I mean, we can't have an officer in every block, sometimes in every square mile. Uh, but so a camera from the air allows us to see a very large area very effectively. As for this accident, Boone says he's keeping his cameras rolling. It may help solve another case in the future. You know who did what and who was at fault that way too. And tonight, both drivers involved in that accident are recovering, and the investigation is complete. Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.